Good day and welcome to the Maths Room. In today's video, we are going to be having a look at inverse functions. A common way to ask this question would be what is written on the board now. Given that f of x is equal to something, work out an expression for f of x, but with that little negative in the indices spot. That little negative indicates that they are looking for the inverse function. The process to do this is fairly simple once you know what it is. First, we'll start by replacing that f of x with y. The reason we do that is it makes our lives a lot easier to work with the function. Next, we are going to take the x and the y and switch them. So wherever you see an x, you'll replace it with a y, and wherever you see a y, you'll replace it with an x. So your equation now looks like that. Your next step is then just to rearrange the formula so that y is once again the subject, which means y equals something else. To do that, we're going to undo what has been done to the y. There is a plus one, so we're going to get rid of that plus one by taking away one from the right-hand side. And of course, if we take away one from the right-hand side, we've made it one smaller, so we must do the same to the left. So on the next line, our equation looks like this, but we want y by itself, so we still need to get rid of that three. It is currently being multiplied, so we need to do the opposite to get rid of it. So we divide by 3, because of course 3 divided by 3, or 3 over 3, those cancel down to 1. As before, if we've divided my right hand side by 3, we need to do the same on the left hand side. Which means our equation now looks like this. Just rewriting it in the standard format so that y is on the left. I haven't changed anything there. Our final step is then going to be switching it back to f of x. The inverse format is equal to x minus 1 over 3. Now, the reason they are inverse is explained a little bit easier with a demonstration. So let's take those two equations. So the original equation, the f of x, and the inverse function. If I was to input any number for x, so substitute for x, say for instance a 2. Wherever I see an x, I'm going to replace it with my 2. So 3 times 2 becomes 6. 6 plus 1 gets 7. So if I input a 2, I get an output which is a 7. Now if I take that output and I substitute it into my inverse function, watch what happens. Breaking open my x, inserting my 7, 7 minus 1, I'm going to do the top first, becomes 6. 6 divided by 3 results in 2. So you can see they are inverse. One input will result in an output, which then would result in the original input. If you found this video helpful, please do give us a like. And if you'd like to do these questions by yourself, hit the pause button now and give it a go. Having a look at the first equation, our first step was to switch the f of x to be a y and switch the x and the y position. So we've done that all in one go. Getting rid of the 4, we need to divide both sides by 4, which results in x over 4. So our inverse function is x over 4. Performing the same steps in the next equation, we did those two steps all in one. Now, however, we have got a divide by 5. To get rid of that 5, we would just multiply both sides by 5, which means that the 5s on the right-hand side cancel. Now I've got a 2 times y, or 2y, so I need to get rid of it by dividing the right-hand side by 2. And if I did that on the right, I must do it to the left also, which means I'm left with y equals to 5x divided by 2. And our final step is just to write it in the correct format. Our last and most challenging question. Once again, we've done those first two steps in one go. I wouldn't do the negative because the whole top piece is being divided by 6. So you can almost think of them as being in brackets. So according to my bid maths, that would be one of the first ones that you would do if you were working in the standard direction. But now we're trying to undo everything, we would work from the bottom up, which means that division would come first. So to get rid of that division, I'm going to multiply both sides by 6. And now that the division or the divide by 6 is gone, I can work with that negative 2. To get rid of a negative 2, we do the opposite. So I'm to add 2 to the right, and then I have to do 2. 
add that to the left also. And then my final step is just rewriting it in the standard format. I hope this helped. If it did, give us a like, consider subscribing, and we'll see you soon for more.